Thank you, everyone. So I'm an Indian male who is half Hindu and half Sikh. Mom's side has got the turbans. Dad's side's got the goddess with the six arms. And I've got a big bag of weed. <laughs> We're going to figure that shit out. So the other day, a cab drove me, which was kind of refreshing. <laughs> Did you know that we have seven parties in our weddings? Can you believe that? Seven? I mean, how many parties do you really need in order for you to finally tell the world, hey, look, everyone, we just met last week. <laughs> we get a lot of spicy foods, you know, which would probably explain why our women walk 10 feet behind us. I'm so sick and tired of those curry farts. <laughs> But our food is so good, okay? It, it's so, there's so much flavor, you know? It's like an orgasm in your mouth, okay? Porn stars would be like, I ain't sucking any dick today. I'm gonna give me some butter chicken. <laughs> so, when me and my ex-girlfriend uh, broke up, we, uh, we got into a little s and Yeah. She slept while I masturbated. <laughs> You know, they say that 25% of all men masturbate while they drive. That study was done between me and three other guys. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I don't, I don't masturbate while I drive, okay? But I have gotten a blowjob while driving. You know what's the worst part about getting a blowjob while you're driving? Nothing. <laughs> guy's trying to explain to me what a lazy Susan is. You know, he's like, it's like a rotating tray. I'm like, really? I always thought it was a chick that doesn't go down on you first. <laughs> you know, I am really, really tired of these stereotypes, you know? Trying to tell me that all pot smokers look alike? Well, I don't think so. I mean, if weed was a guy, he'd be that one guy, or one friend, that always made you laugh, but never, always, always knew, shit, sorry, I fucked up. <laughs> Anyways, okay. So, um, uh, when t somebody tells you to go fuck yourself, shouldn't that be a good thing? You know, it's like, hey, buddy, go fuck yourself. It's like, all right, I guess I got time. Can I borrow your computer for a few minutes? <laughs> You know, I am really tired of hoity-toity people, you know? Always trying to one-up you and try to be better than you with their big words, you know? Guy the other day, he's like, hey, Paul, thank you very much. You're a scholar and a gentleman. I'm like, uh, define your. <laughs> and I'm really tired of people that talk behind other people's backs, you know? Like my dickhead friend, Jared. You know, he fucking never stops. I saw an Asian couple the other day walking their dog. First thing that came to my mind was that, does that dog sleep with one eye open? I don't know. <laughs> so I'm watching Mike Tyson's documentary the other day. And he's like, uh, got the motto, tell me that I'm smart. And that I'm fifty. And that you want to have my baby. I'm thinking, I'm thinking, that guy is crazy. <laughs> you know, I get tired of people thinking that I'm a terrorist because I'm brown, you know? You know, just the other day, I was on a plane, and a dude sits right next to me, okay? He's got the fundamental turban and the beard and everything, and you know what? It, it really freaked me out, but I, you know, I actually warned him. I said, look, you better not try anything, Dad. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs>